Hey friends, welcome back to another tutorial. It's your girl Shantae. And in this tutorial, I will be making another cheap, budget-friendly, inexpensive headband wig. And as you can tell by my reaction, I am in love with this freaking look. So the hair is 22 inches long in the color natural black. It is synthetic and guess what? It only cost me $20 to create this headband wig absolutely in love with it so in this tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to create your headband wig how to style your headband wig and as well as how to prep your natural hair for this protective style let's go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial All right, starting off, this is what you're gonna need. This is a wig grip. This is what I'm using as my elastic band to hold my headband wig down on my head. Now I chose this band because it has silicone on one side and then the cloth on the other side. And then it also comes with the Velcro strap on it as well for easy adjustments to fit all head types. On my last headband wig, I had to sew a band together and add Velcro to it I just came across this and I was like let's give this a try and I was very surprised it was super secure because of the silicone you don't have that slipping going on so I loved using the wig grip so this is your cheat code use the whip wig grip for your elastic band on the headband wigs so I'm going in gluing all of my tracks onto my mesh dome cap I hate sewing, it is just so long, it takes too long. I feel like gluing is just so much more easier and all I have to do is just take my T-pins to hold the tracks to the dome cap, give it a couple of minutes to dry and then move to the next freaking track. So it takes no time in making this wig. I think it took me, this is time lapse, maybe 30 minutes just to lay all the tracks. Now I do let the glue dry overnight just because there's a lot of glue I'm putting on this dome cap. So to make sure that those tracks or I'm gonna budge or try to come off of that cap, I do give them time to dry. Now, as you can see from the video, as I'm laying my tracks, I'm trying to make it into like a U direction from one edge of the band to the other. And then once I get that nice U and I'm at the crown of the head, we're gonna start laying those tracks going across. So from one part of the U to the other side of the U. And we're gonna do this until we meet up with the band. And then we're going to close all those tracks in because we don't wanna be able to see all of those tracks. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that as well as how I'm going to attach this wig grip band to the dome cap. All right, friends, so we are almost done as far as with laying our tracks. So this is how I'm concealing all of those tracks that are behind uh, this one track. So I'm taking one really long one and I'm kind of doing like a ear to ear across the front of the band. And I'm gonna lay two of those tracks directly in front of each other. So they kind of conceal each other and we can hide all that glue and all those cut webs and all that this is what is going to conceal all of that going on within the wig. And then the band that we have laying there is kind of, I pushed it out of the way so that I could lay the tracks. We're gonna pull that back and we're gonna have it lay right on the edge of the wealth of the tracks so we can cover that all up. So it'll all look seamless. All right, so here is our finished product right now. So she has dried and I'm showing you how I attach my headband wig to the tracks. I just sewed it in there real good. And as you can see, you cannot see the welts of the track. It all looks like one seamless wig. And now we are going to cut 
the remaining dome cap off. We no longer need it, our wig is complete, and then this is pretty much where our edges are going to be slayed at anyway. So we need this part gone, and it is now time to try this on. So before we do that, of course, this is a natural hair channel, so we have to talk about caring for our natural hair. So I'm going in, wetting my hair, and I'm going in with the Texture ID Coils Daily Moisturizing Cream. It's pretty much a simple leave-in conditioner that I use daily and this is what we are going to use to uh, massage our scalp go ahead and uh, work it into our hair and then I'm going in with a brush and I'm brushing all of my hair back my hair is still really short and it's uh, too short for me to be able to catch so I have to just brush it all back before I put my ball cap on and then we're going to go into trying this gorgeous wig and I just cannot wait for y'all to see these results like oh my goodness i just was amazed by how good this came out i really just like shocked myself i gotta like go out and make some more of these like ah and for only 20 dollars, it's just insane Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know what to say. But they go. <laughs> Why did it take me so long to make this? Why? Why? Did it let's go ahead and get into this like oh my gosh look look at look hold on let me let me look at her she's stiff wear stiff wear <laughs> this one is it this one is definitely it oh my gosh this is 22 inches of hair <sighs> like my goodness it is so I've outdone myself I have outdone myself like I don't know uh, where to go from here like I just <sighs> I really really like it and on the flip side of all of this for it to look this freaking good $20 sis this was $20. That's all I did was pick up some $20 hair and made 22 inches worth. Wow, like headband wigs are their takeover. It, 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 I mean, it's just it's just no way around it. Like they're so, so simple and so easy to manage and keep up with and put on. Like this, this is... This, synthetic hair it isn't human but you can use heat I believe up to like 400 on it if you do want to put some bends or some curls into it I want it bone straight so I got bone straight honey Since the hair is super straight we will have like we will run into some problems as far as like styling in different looks but um honey I'm okay with just throwing in a ponytail and keeping it down because there's just no way, like the, I just, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. I can't, I can't. I absolutely love this new look. Um, and for it to only be
giving me all the Pocahontas, Rapunzel, whoever you want to throw up in that mix vibes. Just giving it to me, giving it to me. I gotta go somewhere. I gotta like get dressed and like I gotta I gotta put an outfit on. I gotta like put some heels on because we just not about to let this look go to waste. We just we can't let this. This should let you know you need to make one. This one right here should let you know right now. You need to be making one. You need this in your life, like right now. ASAP, immediately. Like run to the beauty supply store right now. I am going to leave the links on of where I purchased my headbands, where I purchased my hair and all the materials used. I will leave all of that in the description box for you guys. This was my first time using that type of hair, that brand of hair. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like, I just, I just, for y'all who have stuck it out for this entire video, watching me make this headband wig, I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button if you really are feeling this, because, honey, I am. If I could hit the like button a hundred times, I promise you I would. Let it count for a hundred times. I promise you I would. Thank you guys for watching. We will see y'all on a another video. Don't forget to check out our other links below to check out other DIY headbands as well as where to purchase a headband if you're not into all the DIYing. We will see y'all on our next video. Be safe and be blessed.